of March 2009, we come to France for this loft visit, which I've been looking forward to very much. This is the McGee, Tymon, Barcelona Challenge Lofts. This is John Tymon, he's one of the partners in the Barcelona Challenge. Good morning, John. Morning, Keith. Tell us um, roughly where we are in France. Well, we're actually in the village of Hernicourt, which is uh, in the Nord de Pas Calais region in northern France. We're about, I suppose, 30 miles from the Belgian border. And uh, this is an area where it's a bit of a hotbed, a lot of pigeon fanciers, several thousand fanciers here. Um, and they have done quite well in international racing. So John and I uh, looked at this particular area and, and uh, we fell in love with this particular uh, small holding. Um, and John put the offer in and of course bought it uh, two years ago. Yeah, so what was the idea behind the offs then? Well, uh, basically um, John and Lou decided to move to France and uh, we discussed it and we thought it was a good idea that uh, if we're going to compete uh, in the international racing uh, on, on an even keel without the channel to, to cross, um, there was quite a few guys from England were interested in putting birds out here. So that's really how it all came about. Uh, you know, I said to John, well, why don't you run it as a one-loft race from uh, Barcelona and compete in, in mainly Barcelona, but offer other internationals as well. So quite a few people were interested and uh, you know, the idea was, was uh, uh, brought into fruition and uh, John, of course, and Lou have worked very hard to set it all up. Uh, I mean, I've been back in England most of the time and they've done all the hard work and getting the lofts set up and we've done the adverts. We've got a lot of good pigeons here from top class fanciers yeah. all over the UK. How many pigeons have you got here? Well, we have about, uh, at the moment, <clears throat> I think there's 196 uh, yearlings that uh, obviously they'll be raced this year down to Limoges, uh, which is about 350 miles. Uh, and on top of that, of course, this year we have uh, 82 year olds for Barcelona. Training, John. When we start to do that, the training Lou does. So um, mm. she, she's got her training points that she goes to. Which where are they? Savon, which is 11 mile, and then Deloines, which is 20 mile, and then down to Amiens, which is about 40 mile. How many times a week is that, Lou? Every day. For every day. Every day. Weather, weather, weather permitting. Do you let them all go together? No, section by section. And yeah. then John can get them in this this side. Yeah. So it takes quite a long time to let them go. Yeah. Yep. Did you want a phone call? Do you have to phone him? I have to phone him and say the first lot are up and then he knows yeah. that 15 minutes after that the next lot will be out, 15 yeah. minutes after that. But we've, the got the, uh, we've got the brick on uh, sponsor this for the electronic clocking system. Yeah. So as they go in, you know, we keep people informed on the uh, internet of how the birds come from training as well. So everybody, as soon as they're back, we take the clock indoors and Lou puts it on the internet and emails everybody so they can see how yeah. the birds are performing training as well. Yeah. Well, we had a good run down here to Angers and we arrived at 3 o'clock in the morning and to our surprise the Liberation site is in a supermarket car park. The supermarket's just opened up. It's about 8.30 their time. This is the general view of the Liberation site. The shopping precinct and supermarket.
1300 pigeons, they're braided at 820 in a southwest wind.